today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make this Nikola Jokic build in NBA 2K24, man. Now, listen, this might be one of the best center builds. And on top of that, it's not as tall as, you know, every other center, but it can still get the job done, do what it needs to do, and score at a very high clip. Now, I'm going to show y'all how to make this play. I got three versions of it in this video. But if y'all could do me a favor and just like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications to the channel so you can be notified when i post and let's try and get 100 likes on today's video now obviously you want to go with center 6'11, 284 pounds and 73 wingspan and like i just said i do have three versions of this build so y'all stick around or just skip to the part that y'all want to go to and look at that build specifically and yeah so we're going to start off with the first build want to go ahead and give yourself a 92 close shot you could go higher but i think 92 is definitely that sweet spot and then for the driving layup you want to go ahead and put that all the way up to an 80 for the driving dunk you want to put that up to a 70 and for the standard dunk you can put that even to a 70 or a 75 but we're gonna go with a 75 you know just to get you know most of the good standing dunks and then obviously for the post control it has to be high we're gonna put that all the way up to a 90 now for the mid-range you want to max that out for the three ball you actually want to put that all the way up to an 80 you don't want to max that out and for the free throw you can leave it at 64. For the playmaking we're actually going to go ahead and start off with the ball handle so obviously max that out to a 71 max out the speedable ball to a 56 and put that pass accuracy all the way up to a 92 man them passes are going to be quick and you're going to be getting them off very fast to your teammates now for the defense you want to go ahead and give yourself an 80 interior for the defensive rebound you want to put that all the way up to an 85 for the block you actually want to put that all the way up to an 88 i mean like i said this is a Jokic build his block is not really supposed to be this high but you still need defense so yeah for the speed you want to go with 63 50 acceleration and an 84 strength now as you can see we do not have no stamina so obviously we're going to change that right here i'm going to speed this part up so y'all can switch it around and then basically put the attributes where it needs to be at Now, as you can see, here is the stats at the end, man. We basically fixed it around so that we can have more stamina. And yeah, this is how you build the first version of this Jokic build, man. I'm going to show y'all the shades and everything, what build name you will be getting. As y'all can see, we got the Kings, Bulls, and the Bucks shades, man. Hey, this build name right here is not bad. Diamond 3 level threat. That's what basically Jokic is in real life. Now, I'm going to show y'all the actual, like, shade that you can get from Jokic on this second build right here, man. So also, want y'all to let me know in the comment section down below which one of these builds would you use as your player, man. As far as stats, badges, everything goes, let me know in the comment section. But, yeah, here's the stats. And this is the shades that you get. Obviously, I just say you're going to get Jokic as one of them. And y'all let me know what y'all think, man. The stats was there. As y'all can see, we got Jokic on the right side. And this is what you get, man. Now, instead of the build named Diamond 3 Level Threat, you only get 3 Level Threat, which is not bad in my opinion. That's what he is. He just don't got the diamond in this player. I'm not going to lie. But, hey, it is what it is. But I'm going to show y'all the third build. I'm not going to lie for this third one. It's really more of a defensive, like, Jokic build. It's not really that much finishing. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm about to show y'all. So, yeah, bear with me. I know this build might be, like, a little iffy. But, like I said, more defense. You get more of a higher block. 
uh, more passing accuracy and you get a little bit more strength so y'all let me know what y'all think and on top of that you get a 95 pulse control instead of a 90 or 92 you actually get a 95 and you get a little bit more driving dunk so yeah y'all let me know what y'all think about this third one yeah in my opinion i wouldn't like really pick this one out of the other two but it's still a good build only for a simple fact that you still have a high mid range and you have a maxed out three you have an extra two on your three balls so instead of having 80 you have an 82 and on your pass accuracy is definitely higher now so you'll be getting them passes either full court down the court relay pass it will be very high so like say if somebody passes you the ball you can instantly pass it to somebody else so yeah bro like it's just a lot more defense on this build as y'all can see you get that 80 interior still but the block the block is a 92 now so that's where stuff really changes so now you have a 95 post control 92 block and then you still have an 85 defensive rebound so yeah i mean you still have some of the same stats and on top of that you have more post control and block definitely think these are some good center builds and on top of that bro you get a little bit more strength like like i say instead of having an 84 strength you can either go with the 88 or the 86 route i personally would take the 88 route but hey this is the build 86 is high enough and yeah bro i'm basically just going to show you how to get more stamina you really don't need your pass accuracy that high i was just putting it that high to see like you know what it would look like and to be honest you don't need it that high but hey Jokic has nice pass accuracy he's very good at passing as well obviously besides pulse scoring and like shooting and things like that he can pass very good so yeah y'all should at least have it above an 85 in my opinion but hey if you don't feel like you need a 90 pass accuracy then go for it but i just think it's more safe and you get more better badges with a 90 and up so yeah now as y'all can see here's the shades that you get and this is also the build name you will get diamond three level threat a w build name i'm not gonna lie and i think y'all should definitely try out one of these players and let me know what y'all think now this is the end of the video and i just want to say that i appreciate all y'all for tuning in and if you're new to the channel why don't you like comment subscribe we is on that grind to 20k subs and i'm out